Hey guys. Sorry, I welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's just raw. It's just me today. Super raw. I didn't even put a necklace on. It's a rough morning. I'm working in the astral realm. <sighs> but I had to get this video out. So, shout out to any of the light workers that are having a hard time. I shouldn't say a hard time, but are super working for the benefit of the earth and Mother Earth and the people and the collective. Like, shout out to you. It's an honor to work with you guys. It's an honor to connect in that space in the astral realm. It's an honor to connect in that space for a greater good. I mean, seriously, it's a beautiful thing. Sometimes it's a lot of work sometimes. So, but we got this. We got this. Thank you for your guys' help. Thank you for your strength. And it's an honor to share mine with you. Okay. All right. Today's video is about Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Are connecting with Gemini soon so and this isn't individual reads for Gemini I'm not going to do that I'm not like other readers <clears throat> this is how we can all connect to Gemini and the planets and how we can all benefit from that energy and help it and tune into that to help us on our own personal journey to grow and blossom and connect abundance and connect to spiritual love and the earth's love and so we can share that with the people around us so, um, I'm also going to do a Mercury. I'm not sure if they're going to be tied in together. I'm just going to start channeling. And this is part one. If it gets too long, I don't know. Oh. Wow, it's purple. <laughs> That's my soul's color. Oh, wow. Okay. I already, I already called corners. I already did a circle. I kind of, I did my yoga out here this morning. I just had a whew. I couldn't breathe in my house. It was one of those. It's one of those. Oh, I'm glad that doesn't go off. It's super loud. Okay. Lord. All right, great Holy Spirit. Mm. I already connected to all the elements in a very beautiful way. So if I start doing some weird stuff, just <laughs> just know it's part of elemental meditation. All right, great Holy Spirit, ancestors. Please clear the space of anybody who's tuning in today. Help them be of their own flourishing, their own energy, their own mind, their own um, energy. Got to start a repeat. I don't care. Help them clear their space, clear their mind, help them connect to the messages as they need to. Help them breathe and connect to the beautiful elements around them. Chakras be pure and holy and open. And this is just kind of purified. It's super open. My feet. Okay. Help us connect to the energies of Gemini. What is it we need to know at this time that's going to help us move forward through our transformation into our own personal journey? What's going to help us connect to our highest good and our highest power? I keep going for this Kundalini energy. Oh, okay. So they're showing me uh, masculine and feminine Kundalini. Like um, the twins. It's showing me the masculine and feminine in that space. That's kind of cool. Like a twin flame energy. Oh, wow. Okay. And it's showing a seed, like 
it looks like a seed, like an Aram. Okay. And then the Kundalini is coming out of them, one blue, one red. And we're learning to work together <clears throat> within our body, within our energy, and within the physical, some masculine and feminine, maybe, huh? <clears throat> Very cool. Thank you, Spirit. Mm. Wow. No that whatever you are going through your guides are with you protecting you and guiding you holy shit there is a wow that's beautiful I hear there's a battle of the sexes. I'm not sure what that's pertaining to. What does that mean, spirit? Kwayeta kana hite moyata. It's part part of the falling apart process. Just know that we're all connected, we're all one, try not to use any judgments, know that everybody's on their own sacred journey, at their own level, so if they're arrogant and toxic or spacey, know that it's just part of their journey, try and give love and share as much as you can without judgment or anger. If there is judgment and anger, we need to look at that space within our heart. Why are we judging somebody else? Do we not see the journey that we went through to get to where we are? To be a master is to not master anything. I mean, that's, that's, that's the fundamental point. That's the fundamental knowing is that there's always something more to learn and grow. I, I don't care if you're Thoth and you're writing down all the tablets and you're connecting to all them different realms. We're still learning and growing from different planets and realms and, and star beings and, and star people that to know everything is to know nothing. It's important for us to remember that and not judge that we're not better than anybody else. Um, we might be a step up, but it's not a step up. We're just on a different level. That doesn't mean we're higher than anybody else. There's no hierarchy in that space. We are all one. We are connected. We are all connected in love. And love is all that is. If we connect in that space within our hearts and allow ourselves to move in that in flow of masculine and feminine and divinity and spirit and the holy trinity and move forward in that space for each other to see that it's okay to be open and vulnerable, to see that it's okay to be in love and, and to be to be as we are, authentic, free, and sovereign of our own flourishing, of our own soul's authenticity, of our own light, of our own colors, of our own weird beautifulness, whatever that might look like. We need to remind each other and remind ourselves that it's okay to be that, to see that, to move forward in that space. And it's important to remember that there's a higher power there's guiding forces, there's star beings, there's star people, there's earthly elementals, there's so much that people don't understand, but it's all right there. We just have to tune in at a different level and different space. So how does this tune in to Gemini? I feel like I totally went to Spanish consciousness right there. So... Me being, I am a reincarnation of Yeshua. I have walked his path in many forms, in many ways. 
soul and consciousness and he's got me going through these different challenges right now so part of that is being strong enough to stand in your power and stand in your truth and know that spirit has a purpose and you have a purpose and no matter what that looks like spirit is protecting you like they're supporting you through whatever it is you're facing right now Okay, and this ties in with the Gemini because it's part of the higher mind. It's part of the ego. It's part of the hierarchy and the control that we think we have. There's no control. And and when 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 ego is gone, what's the replacement of ego is love. There's no ego in love. Love is full, flow, open, non-judgment. Let it be as it is. And love it for what it is, who it is, what it feels like, what it looks like, energy, feeling, touch, smell, connection. of this Gemini energy is going to be releasing that unjustified thought of ego. Allowing yourself to connect within your own heart space and within your own God spark without judgment, without ego, without, without control or superficial ideals of what it should be. To stand in your power is to stand in openness. You can't control your own openness. You can't control your own power. I mean, not in a sense, but it all comes together as one we are connected to all we are connected to everything for us to be in our full god spark full god spark full light body we are connected to everything and we are connected to nothing there's the parables <laughs> but it's so true now they're showing me a water driplet and the ripple effect that we're making is huge. It's substantial. Allow yourself to see not just your drip of your knowledge or your love or the things that you're doing for the collective, but allow yourself to see how it's rippling out. See how the water speaks. What are you putting out there for people to see? What are you putting out there for people to hear and connect to? Is it of love? Is it of connection? Is it of spiritual truth? What does the ripple effect look like? All right, I'm seeing the water. I can feel the ripple. Know that whatever you're doing is leaving a beautiful ripple effect. Allow it to be in love. <clears throat> now I'm seeing a dance of the masculine and feminine again, but in a physical, a physical way. I'm actually seeing a tarot card where the, the lover's card is the masculine and feminine and they're coming into this astral astral place. It's beautiful. Hello, spirit. <coughs> um, uh, hi. <laughs> um, those are just... Okay, interesting. Allow yourself to disconnect from your roots if you need to. They're showing me like toxicity, toxic relationships, toxic connections, conditioning. Allow yourself to break away from that fragments of lost knowledge, I hear, because it's not who you are. If you're having a hard time breaking away from family, remember that your soul family is here to help you through whatever it is you're going through. If you haven't met them yet, you will once you release the toxic energy or the toxic people within your life. It's important to remember that you're not alone. So you close your eyes, you connect your breath. You can feel spirit. You can feel the elementals. You can feel the sun. You can feel your guides. You can feel calm your mind and be in your breath. I don't care if you got to breathe 50 times. You will eventually calm. Remind yourself calm. Just 
and it's just calm. Breathe. It will calm. You will feel it. You're never alone. There's love everywhere. that are coming in to awaken you don't fear your journey know that you're blossoming at your own rate don't put staples on your process allow yourself to blossom as you're ready to you can't push your process forward allow spirit to rain down on you Something's trying to weird. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I hear contemporary. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, any other messages for the Gemini energy? yourself to be in the present moment any messages for the planetary alignments i know mercury is going into retrograde in gemini so there's going to be a lot of breaking free from our conditioning from our mental anguish from toxic thought process from overbearing thought process from any imbalance is gemini is two trying to always keep balance of, of of air and physical. It ties in with the Libra energy. We're going through this portal and we're coming into this lunar eclipse. There's going to be a lot of activations for those who are ready. If you're not, know that there's still activations. It's just not in your physical realm at this time. It's in a soul fragment. <clears throat> so you're not missing anything. It's just in a soul fragment. I almost started to cry. So remember that your soul is always activating your body when it's ready. Your soul is connecting to the ethers. Your soul is connecting to the planets. Your soul is connecting to the sun. Is connecting to these act activations. Your soul gives your the body the activation when it's ready. So don't fear. And then I'm seeing like roots coming down into the ground from some somebody interesting is that me or what i totally feel it <clears throat> here contemporary again i'm not sure what contemporary means <clears throat> if you're misunderstood and misled so if you feel that you've been that way ask your oversoul for help and guidance I have a pair of nesting ravens out here it's beautiful I hear don't be complacent. If you need to take action, you need to take action. It's kind of all I got. A couple of cards still.
wow. Oh, wow. Okay, we've got a whole lot of, a whole lot of, I knew I was going to see the devil card though. Okay. So, do not fear, but allow yourself to come into balance with your light and your dark. We have the world, and it's the Celtic tree, so as above, so below, whatever you're reaping, whatever you're planting, whatever you're sowing, whatever you're working on, know that it's going to come back, because we have the harvest card with the star. As long as you're connecting to your star family, and you're connecting to your purpose and your ancestor, there, there is no fear in love. We have the devil card here, on top of the harvest, the world tree, and the star. That's beautiful. Hierarchy? I hear hierarchy. So remember that spirit is the only hierarchy that we need to be listening to. Not YouTube. Not Facebook. I'm fucking ready to swear. So people must be really being misled. And that's part of this smokescreen. They're trying to block our awakening, our blossoming. We connect to our own spirit in our own way. Whatever that looks like, whatever religion, whatever connection, whatever that is. We have that within us, within our spiritual senses. There's no fear in love. Allow yourself to connect in this. Oh, it ties in with my astral travel. Ah, oh, now I'm fucking getting pissed. I get it. Do not let yourself be misled. Use discernment. Connect in your heart space. I hear smoke screens again, and the Nine of Cups is here reversed. Allow yourself to connect to the sun within yourself. That's where you find your strength. And look at this high priest. He's connecting to the sun, the crystals, his ancestors, the standing stones. If you have any doubt, if you're like, I don't understand, I don't know if I should be listening to this, you probably shouldn't be. You need to pray and you need to connect in your heart space. And what does your heart space say? Okay. That's where we find our love. That's where we find our abundance. That's where we find that light. That's where we see that coin going, ha, ah, it shines down on us. We're releasing that darkness when we stand in the light of our love. When we stand in the light of spirit. There's going to be messages coming for us. The lovers is here with the queen of pentacles and the three of wands. Oh, that's the two of wands. So have courage to be open to the messages that spirit is trying to give you. <sighs> Anything else? Oh, I thought I had it. <laughs> Any other messages in that space? Um, detox, cleanse. This blood moon eclipse is going to be a huge heart activation for a lot of us and like an entanglement and an unbinding because there's not one without the other you know what I mean so allow yourself to be open to that activation and to the messages that come to that space okay and that's all I'm supposed to talk about that because we all have our own personal stuff so remember tune into your own guides tune into your own heart tune into your own stuff I know I have a lot of stuff on YouTube and I haven't been looking at any of it. There's like, there's one reader that I listened to like yesterday and it was just, it was one quick message from a, a goddess actually. And she led me to re listen to that message, but it wasn't the reader that I was listening to. It wasn't like a light worker like here, this is what you're supposed to be doing. You need to use discernment guys. I hear dark worker. Okay. I don't know how any of that tied in with Gemini energy, but I suppose it's part of the mind and it's part of the growing and it's part of bringing balance within your life, within yourself and within your guides. I hope that was helpful, guys. I love you guys. We'll see you soon, okay? Much love.